Time to yacht a lost people. Okay, this episode's original video has a weird glitch where Adam's face on screen a second before the intro starts properly. I don't know if maybe they like cut out an ad or something, or maybe like there was some sort of like announcement. But it's just weird. I was gonna show it off, but I didn't want to play through the entire intro thing. Just for this was one second. On June 6, 2003, and is the sixth Yu-Gi-Oh! booster set. Legacy of Darkness was the first set to introduce the spirit monsters to the TCG. For spirit better and for worse. With the ability that reads that when the card is normal summon or to be fair, summon, there are good spirit get monsters. To return to the hand during the end of your turn. They're not the totally infamous infamous type. spirit monster to this day is Yara Rasu. Basically, what this card says that when this Ooh. card deals with <laughs> which we will be like, this card can't possibly come back. It's next. back Draw and no face. one plays it. This At least no one I've seen. Warrior, dragon, fiend type monsters, and a bunch of support cards. Highly sought out the cards that is set include Dark Ruler Hades. This card I has amazing these. ability where it reads that it cannot be special summoned from the graveyard. And any fiend monster that destroys OCG a monster arts. by battle. I'm pretty sure these TGG ones are So imagine this card attacking two monsters like Sangan or Witch place. of the Black Forest. Those monsters cannot trigger off their abilities. Next, we Bitch. got Exile Force. Trigger Who deserves their summon animation? Monster on the field. Air Knight Parshand, whenever it inflicts battle damage, draw a card. Fiber not draw, too bad. A card that resets Reset the, the game. game. <laughs> Bottomless Trap Hole. A buffed up version of the uh, that, that, that fiber jar can't no come back just for the, the sake of the old game. I don't know if you the game needs a reboot right now. It's like, no, 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 no. Let's calm down here, folks. The game. And last but not least, we got Injection Fairy Lily, a monster that can deal powerful damage to your game. opponent. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it on the brief history. Remember when Injection Fairy Lily was on the ban list for like five minutes? It wasn't banned, it was just limited. It just like, but why though? I, I know why, but why? <laughs> and again, it was like the first balance when they didn't really know what they were doing. So, you know, we can forbid, forgive some weird things in the first one ever, but it doesn't make for a funny list, you know? Like, hey, hey guys, check out this first ban list. How wacky! You are the one who's going back into the shadows. Yeah, you know, first up wasn't the anime, and that one duel. Five. It's a computer. Hey guys, back at Duel Nights again. It is Yo! the best show on YouTube, and if you haven't watched it all yet, what the hell are you doing? This is honestly You got rid of so your great. championship belt. Instantly, I, I don't care. It is so much fun to be on and to watch. I, I watch the episodes too. It's, it's so awesome. Uh, I'll make sure to come back and keep on winning. You win said with the in, in in excitement of someone who did not do the heck thing. Every time. It's excitement of someone who's, who's do, read a book, who's, who's giving a book report, giving a book report on something he did, on a book he did not read. Called a YCS dual night victory. Since I'm back, where's my prize? All right. So how does this work again? So on the wheel, there's monsters. It's a wheel. What do you think? You get to pick that category from the latest set. Oh, Legacy of Darkness. Oh God, I don't want anything from the set. Um, probably want to spell the creature swap. So that's not that great, but we'll see. Monster just to reset the game. Uh. Spell. Spell, all right. I'm super happy to be back every single other what week. What you asked for. For each episode. Today we got Jesse Cotton here back on the show, and oh my goodness. And you guys already know he won Magic Ruler. Probably, that 101 one thing what? probably Today, spells that if you can read this, again. you're a loser are you or something. You can't be a guest on the show and just make us look like fools. <laughs> Not happening today. Doesn't matter if he's a two-time YCS champion, a UDS champion. Doesn't matter if he has so many regionals, blah blah blah. Fifty. Doesn't matter. This is Duel Nights, baby. Every one of us here That's as many has a win. As there are in make America. Sure we do everything in our power today to make sure this guy does not get another victory before one of us do. All right, guys. Since I am the Labyrinth of Nightwear winner, Milo, my director. They both get a wheel, wheel to spin. Oh, here we go. We went a week wheel. without a spin, and now we get two spins. He gets spelled too. Traps! I'm going with bottomless trap hole. Good that's pick. A card I'm automatically adding into my deck. It's a card that's right, guys, always good. Let's do it. Like even oh, if everything has protection from destruction Welcome effects, remove from play something so to sneeze to at. I've been amped up this whole time, but now bring me my wheel. You don't get a wheel. I'm a retired sucker, unfortunately. That I can play with that. But I'm excited for today's draft. It's gonna be epic. 
I'll see you guys there. Yo, what's good, everyone? Welcome back to <laughs> You're in a row, dude. I'm, I'm winning today, boys. I'm winning today. <laughs> what's the game I'm plan? Guys, <laughs> it down to the Why are you... It's winning time, baby. Did we just get him out of the shower? I hope you guys are too. Let's go. <laughs> he should have that towel Welcome thing wrapped around his head. Here today it is. we're on Legacy of the Duelist, and we have Mr. Jesse K himself. Hello again. Jesse, are you excited to be back? Yeah. Are you, are, are you ready to Just try to come in. Triff trying to come in acting like a king. This is the closest thing to royal armor you had or clothing or whatever. Who are you, bro? I'm getting my revenge on you tonight. <laughs> okay, guys, without further ado, let the draft. Trip only has one volume. Ten. The maximum. Yo, thank you for the luck, Sam. I hope you also have good luck today. <laughs> I said he only has the volume of ten, and then he freaking spoke normally. One day, I dream to be... Can Triff mumble? Trifonoski says lots of people. It might take you two decades, though, Milano. Ooh-hoo-hoo! Throw him shade. the entire universe, bro. Steven, you genuinely think you're the best player in the world? Honestly, yes. <laughs> You better Honestly, yes. No Jesse. No no I'm absolutely better than you. <laughs> you lost. Griff is totally that an, that rival character that loses every single time the protagonist, and then he's like, I'm still better though. My heritage, we're a bunch of warriors. That's all I gotta say. Alright, guys, ready? One, two, three, ready, say go. How do you think mine? Sure, one has the rules. One, two, three. Oh, let's go. Oh, great. Now Trip has to go through Samuel first. Bro, I think we just set a record. We pulled more than anyone else in the world, baby. Or not. I don't think the hands were matched up with something going on. Man, I, finally get my I thought that he was facing... Like ah, times, but it's I got really sick of game, dueling so this man. Good luck, Steven. What happened the last, like, 19 times I played Milano? Easy dubs, baby. Easy cops. Let's I didn't have 19 Sam times first. when he only had uh, he six duel nights. Uh, and I can't let that happen again. I don't know how these other bums let him win. Or even Triff before that, so... Gotta put him in his place first. Honestly, I don't care if you're the president of the United States of America. I don't care you if should. Donald Trump. I don't care if his name is Jesse Dean Cotton. Jesse, bring it on. And today, I'm gonna send you to the Shadow Realm once and for all. Welcome back, buddy. And time to finish you. By the way, Adam has turned right, heel guys, so in this one. What's my proof? Man, Wearing a Yankees cap. Man guys. finally gets a win I've under his belt and he decides, screw the fans. And now I feel enlightened with my spirit. So I went with the spirits, baby. Here is my deck list. This is certainly an option. And so with the spirit yeah, monsters, the number one monster I had to pick was the Yamada Dragon. Of course. When it inflicts battle damage, I get to draw until I have five cards in my hand. Dude, that's Nothing like to sneeze at. pretty much. And then there's also pretty of much? Garasu, one of the most iconic spirit monsters. The funny is that Dragon isn't bad, damage, but no one plays it. Their next draw phase, you could completely lock your opponent out of the duel if they don't mm. have recurring resources. And last but not least, one of the best spirit monsters in my deck, Hinokagasuchi. Which pretty much, when I inflict battle damage with him, your opponent discards their entire hand. Entire hand before their drop. It's the opposite That's of Yamada nuts. Dragon. <laughs> but the only thing is, it's so hard to resolve because they're high-level monsters that need tributes. Yeah, as well as that's why they're not hand. playing. But don't even worry, I was Part prepared ahead of anyway. time. I drafted three change of heart and two snatch steals. I'm gonna get my boss monsters on the board. There's also a timeline where Yamada Dragon's on the ban list because it could see too much cool play. I have in my deck is with Creature Swap. I can pass over my spirit monster to my opponent, and I'll just get it back at the end phase, and I'll keep their monster. I suck their monster to my side of the field. He Guys, gave up relinquished entirely. This time, I'm all set up. We have bled on the battlefield as warriors, soldiers. So for today's episode, I'm building the perfect deck for me. Warriors, baby, let's go. Here is my deck list. So you're playing of summon big monsters and steal monsters. Is uh, control steal from the hand. He's changing again. Everyone's changing up their strategies, apparently. Since I have so many ways to exile force, Rhoda, giant rat, 
I'm making sure my opponent's field, along with my Regekis, is always taken care of. But you know what? Taking care of a field is not enough. I'm gonna take care of any field I deal with. That's not enough. I also gotta deal with something else, leading to strategy number two. Strategy number two is hand control. Delinquent duo, baby. I drafted every single hand loop card. I didn't even play them all in my deck. I just wanted to make sure I could deal with the hand, deal with the monsters, and they're all done. My strategy number three is to tell them all to make me some coffee. Because all, all I need is strategy <laughs> number three. Right. All I need, no hand, no in there. field. All that equals is easy dubs for Mr. Warrior Trifonoski. Let's go. All right, guys, just finished drafting, and I've been studying between the last time I played and watching the videos, how Maybe. these guys drafted. And uh, I learned pretty much their, their habits, what they like, what they don't like. And with that, I have formulated this. Now I can take them on a hot date. Wait, we're... What? What? No, you're back. Not again. Okay, I was not expecting so Zodia. strategy is really only one. And uh, if you guys have been watching Zone Night to see Sam tried and failed terribly the first two times for it. But I'll prove that he sucks and I am insane. Exodia! Obliterate. They spent so long making so this Exodia animation, they're so glad they get to use it again. Over in an instant. So you may be wondering, how do I get there? It's obviously, there's only three, uh, three of each card and only five pieces. And we got the next main strategy. You have more than choice. one of each of the Exodia so pieces. Well, okay, two of the Exodia pieces, really, but still, really the Exodia really pieces that more than one is nuts. So you pick five pieces of Exodia, one goes to my hand, and the rest go to the graveyard. And before you think, oh, that's wasteful, what are you doing? My next strategy makes it all work out. That is, backup soldier. To add it three of the normal pieces back to the hand. This is a card that people are less familiar with. It says when you have five monsters in your grave, you pick three of them that are normal monsters, add them to your hand. Meaning when I have this and Painful Choice, I have four pieces of Exodia. Meaning if I have Mystic Tomato, a Sangyan, a Witch of the Black Forest, or any of my draw cards to get me to the head of Exodia, game's over. So you may be wondering why I chose what I chose a Painful Choice, but I thought this through when I was building my deck. I put in a third copy of a single Exodia piece, the right leg. That, that's arbitrary. It can be any of the normal monsters. Yeah. But the reason you have each the third the piece in there pieces. is that I can pick one of each, Plus the second copy of one. They'll wait no which <laughs> one they give me. I'm left with yet. one of each still in my deck to search for the Sangan Rich the Black Forest. And that way, if they have a Jinzo or any way to stop my backup soldier, I still have other ways to make sure I still get Exodia. Sorry, All right, guys, strategy. so we just finished drafting. I have a very cool strategy for today. It's going to be super duper insane. Here's my deck list. Did I call him Adam or did I call him Sam? Oh, God, I stink. All right, guys, Wait, as you guys see, by my no, deck is right here, I'm, I am playing I'm thinking a mix up between him and True, and true Gamer Sam. GG has anime. I suck. This card right here is absolutely insane. You guys already know, whenever a Fiend monster, while this card's on the field, destroys a monster, negate that monster's effect. So flip monsters, don't even think about it. Magician of Faith, I'm sorry. All right? No, you're Sam not. Again, sorry. Witch of the Black Force. That sorry. will really Mystic screw over the Exodia plan. Sorry. Well, this card attacks those guys. They won't be able to float. Painful this card choice is backup soldiers. Insane. Next off, we got Imperial Order. For this episode, I decided to draft three copies of Imperial Order because I know a lot of these guys love their power spells. Heavy spells. There are a lot of strong Darko, spell cards Rikeki. in the game, to be Once fair. Once I activate this card, backed up with a bunch of traps that I have in my deck, I pretty much secure victory and just automatically win the duel. As you guys can see with Imperial Order that's in my deck, I can turn off this card anytime I want once I, I just don't want to. Field. So that way my power so. spell cards like Pot of Greed, Nobleman of Cross Cell, Snatch Deal, Monster Reborn can resolve successfully without having to worry about getting stuck with my own Imperial Order. And last but not least, to help with my Fiend strategy, I got Cyber Jar. This card is absolutely insane. The main Agreed. premise behind this card right here is one, to clear my opponent's entire board. Once Luke. that happens, Cyber Draw will get access to all my feed monsters on the field. Small feed monsters like Mask of Darkness, Giant Germ, Octo, Octo, Octocloth, Octopolis. whatever that card's name is. Cyber Jar will also Octopolis. help me get access to my power traps, power spells, beast and a bunch looks like of feed from monsters Dragon Ball to my side and of the field. So that way I can feel my graveyard for the one and only Dark and other shows. Fear. My deck is super duper simple. Don't need an echo fear. All right. Bunch of traps. Once I set that up, it's pretty much just over. Breeds and strategy, not gonna lie. Everyone basically changed up their deck. Not completely, but different enough. It feels like 
I believe it's time for you and me to duke it out like we did the last 100 times. <laughs> Bro. And we'll do the no next 300 to times. All right, I respect, respect you as a duelist. Good luck. I respect you too. Slank! No, I'm just joking. Good luck, <laughs> Also, <laughs> nice that you can't continue to realize Trip Let's doesn't go. have his ring. They don't have the rings. Yes, I will go second. All right, so here we go. I will draw. Here we go. Maybe we get to Mr. Team Sam or himself. Let's see how many rings he's got on his finger. You know what's funny, Milano? What? I knew you'll make me go second. I'm gonna call this good shot. Ah, great. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Let me look at these. One sec. Ooh, wow, wow. Snatch deal. Nice strategy. Great long nose. Don't read my great yeah. long nose. What are you doing, man? The only person in the world to have a bigger nose than Milano. <laughs> <laughs> so he has great long Milano's nose, and then he also has <laughs> great long judgment. Milano's he nose. He has some other spells. Here's the thing I gotta do here. You gotta think very it's a smart. Squidward okay? nose. If I remove, I don't care about his traps. Trap plus out, they do nothing. Change of heart and snatch deal with a tribute level five that comes back to the hand. If I don't get rid of this level five right now, he's gonna change your heart any monster I summon, tribute summon over it, bring it back on his turn, and then snatch steal my next summon, and then tribute summon on top of that. I gotta, as much as it pains me, I gotta get rid of this level five right now to make his whole hand useless. And now since I know his entire hand, all I gotta draw, do is draw a monster and he's done. I am going to get rid of the Great Long Nose, actually. <laughs> There's a reason. Close to the graveyard? Uh, yeah. And that one costs 1,000, right? Yeah. There's a reason why. And uh, mm. after that, you will set one and I'll pass my turn. Okay. Yeah. Sam, I mean, I'll normal summon. Sus the soldier! <laughs> now you drew a monster uh, right at the top of his deck. The battle damage is going to flex your point. Light points is half. Okay. Enter battle phase. Sus the soldier! Swing! <laughs> Bazing. Another All 1,000 right. damage. So basically, it's like, she's a soldier did full damage, if you think about it. Set two cards. I respect you, Steven. Thank you. And my spirit will return to my hand. I will draw. Hmm. I'll have to set one monster in the face-down defense position. And I will have to pass my turn. Draw. Oh. I'll normal summon my Susa soldier. Oh, that one I did not expect. <laughs> yes. Didn't we don't have to do it twice. Not my giant rod. Let's try your rods effect. Well, then trigger bringing out his best buddy, his cousin, his brother, Johnny Rod. <laughs> um. Hmm. I'll play one face down. Yes. And during the end phase, my yes. Susa soldier will return to my hand. Yes, it does. My turn. I draw. I will summon. The battle phase and attack even 1400! <laughs> I summon the battle phase yes, attack mode. Main phase 2. I will. Set 1. And I will pass to you. Draw. Yes. Just gonna snatch steal. Play phase down monster and pass my turn. I will draw. <gasps> I will activate Zombia! That's yeah, a summon. <sighs> That's fine. And then yeah, it's annoying. I will enter the battle phase. Where's the gravity bind? Your Susa soldier. My Susa soldier. <laughs> he loses Susa soldier. soldier. Bitch. So Briar loses 200 <laughs> attack points. Yeah. attack down by 200 points. And then Giant Rat will attack you for 1400 directly. That is the lightest 14 I've ever take, taken in my life, Steven. Are you scared? Yeah, one of. Okay, understandable. I'll pass my turn. Have a nice day. I'll draw. Yes. It's time! Actively change your heart, yeah. targeting your giant rat. Yes. And now actively snatch steal, targeting your Zombrea yes. that works. Doing good. all the monsters. And both your monsters. Yes. For my boss monster, your monster dragon. Oh, your great. Dragon. My boss monster. Good Duel. against summon animation. I do always appreciate the summon animation in these. Sounds good. Battle things. Your monster dragon will attack for 2600. I'll activate mirror force. No. No. You said you weren't afraid of it. Oh, no. I take, uh. Um, what is math? 20. <laughs> Judge, what is half of 52? 26. <laughs> Thank you. You took 2600 damage 26 to inflict 2600. Effect letting me draw until I have five cards in my hand. One, two, three, 
Boy, that was awesome. That was so awesome. That was so awesome. That was one of the peak moments of my, my entire <laughs> life. Yeah, my entire life was running awesome. up to this moment right. here. I'll play I can now Julius die happily. Yes. But I won't end, I'm, right I'm now. We'll return yes. my, my turn. I draw. I will activate. Here goes nothing. Ah, <laughs> oh, bro, no. <laughs> That's just I don't not know. nice at all. Okay, I didn't want. Can I? Could have I done this on the Yamato? No, right? Because it's solemn judgment. Uh, I don't think so. No. It misses me. Yeah, yeah, it misses yeah, its. Yeah, uh, yeah, gone through, yeah. I will activate premature burial. Oh man! Summoning the giant rat. Eight hundred. Eight hundred. Fourteen hundred. Oh, so scared. I will. He didn't pay the eight hundred. To you. Draw. I'll activate dark hole. Oof. And but again, I guess as long as Trip wins, it doesn't really matter. Ooh, Yada Lock! Yes! And then I'll end my turn! Yeah. Zero! <laughs> you move, Duelist! Yo! Ah, let's go! <laughs> let me kill you, let me kill you, let me yeah, kill no, you! I'm just showing. Draw! Two kill, 200, go! Draw! 200! 200! Yeah, it did! Damn trip, you don't even get to face oh, him. Uh, I lost to Milano uh, in probably the worst fashion you could ever possibly think of in the absolute universe. The only human being that was ever hit with a Yana Lock. <laughs> oh my god, guys, I cannot believe it. I, yeah, I think that's the first in human history. And the Yana Garasu versus Steven. That was and nuts. And now he Boy, the Yana Lock, dude. Oh, man. man. So stone cold faced in my whole life. That's what happens when I put you in the ultimate Genjutsu. Bro is pissed. Now he's not going to get his win back. That's totally some binary go for I'm the world champion or something. Rematch. Hey, you said my finals is the first oh. round. Like, <laughs> I mean, I mean the first match. Game two, do two. All right, Jesse, are you excited with your deck right here? I'm nervous. This deck will either be insane or absolutely terrible. I went with something Could be both. more ambitious, so I want to see if I get rewarded or absolutely destroyed. Okay, you know what? Regardless of what deck it is, I'm super excited to see what strategy you came up with today. Yeah. You ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! For a second. I'll let you start, Sam. Okay, all right, Jesse. Good luck. Good luck. And the best duelist win. Here you go. Okay, all right, Jesse. I'm gonna set one card face down, set this one, and I end my turn. Draw off the turn. Main phase one. You're good. And find out what I'm playing. What? What are you playing? Assuming this goes through. Painful choice. Oh, here we go. Oh, painful choice. Yes, the choice is painful. You can go. So I get to send some cards from my deck to the grave. So I'll pick right leg of the red one. Oh! Yes, as soon as you see one Exodia piece, you're just like, yeah, the, here we go, here we go. Exodia? <laughs> this strategy never works. Like, this Jesse comes on Doom Night just to throw? <laughs> Dude, you're being the anti- Like, you're this sure strategy will never work. work. It works. No! Uh, I mean, sorry, left, right. right, right, left. Sorry, I need the arm. Are you kidding me? Yo, if you pull this off. Right arm, and then I'm missing which one? Left arm? Right, one, two, yeah, okay. Oh my god, I'll give you this guy. Left leg. The, the left leg, leg of the forbidden one. I'll give you the left leg. The left. Yeah, left he's all hit the grave. Yep. So you're playing Exodia? Clearly. Uh, he pulls out Exodia Necros that we didn't see in the deck profile. Oh, man. I will activate Messenger Peace. <laughs> I know that face you just made in the bottom right. <laughs> just that uh, look up. <sighs> we all know where this goes. Oh my god, yes, that's okay. <sighs> you need that Imperial Order and you need it now. Can't even attack. You can, no, you can attack with Giant Germ. That's 1500 or less. Or 1500 or more can't attack, so. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna normal summon Giant Germ. Sure. Okay, enter battle phase, giant terms is an attack. I think you're about to take 200 damage. Oh ah. my god, what? what's that again? What's that again's event? 600, I think. <sighs> Dude, minus, 600, minus how much? You 200. take 200 damage. 
Because that ain't Sangin, that's what's the Black Rose uh, at Forest. To 8,000. Um, Don't worry, this door is an ending with life Maybe points. 100? I will pay the 100 life points. Happily, no doubt. Here's 79. Set one card face down. Go ahead. Draw face, I'll use card eight. Yep. Dude, this is actually very troublesome, man. Holy smokes, dude. Um, set one monster, and I end my turn. Draw for turn. Do you have all five pieces? I do not have all five pieces. Do you have all five pieces, Kaibo? I mean, Grandpa? In my deck, yes. In my hand, I will no. another painful choice. Oh, here we go again. This one we'll get. Very good. Mystic Tomato. Yep. Yep. Trying to fill up that graveyard. Mystic Tomato. Yep. Just thinking about it. Uh, Sangan. 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 So many choices, so little tomato, time. Tomato, tomato. Tomato, tomato. tomato. <laughs> it's a painful choice the second time around. It's a little more interesting. I don't always expect to get a second one off in the duel. Its main purpose will be to get rid of the cards I don't want to draw in my deck. Fair so enough. So I do draw the good cards later on. So versus Sam, I know he's playing a Fiend deck at this point. Dark Ruler Hot has stopped any monsters destroyed by battle. So Sam but it can't attack, so that effect is meaningless right them. now. I'm going to get them out of my deck, so the only cards left in there are the cards that have won me the game. Honestly, guys, there is a 0% chance that Jesse is going to draw Exodia on this duel. My deck literally beats him. All I have to do is summon Dark Ruler Hades on the field, and it's pretty much over. So once I see him... I no, all you have to do is draw Sorry, Imperial Order. Are you? Dark Ruler Hades? I know, that, I know that feeling. Okay, where the cool. frig are you? You're at the bottom of the deck card, dude. I swear to God, there'd be the last card I draw. Maybe. I'm almost summoning a Mystic Tomato. Oh, it can attack, sure. Yes. Turn the witch to attack. Yep. Um, oh, that's right. Attack the giant charm. You gonna use your um, magic cylinder? Um, uh, giant germ is this one? Take four hundred. So that's I take four hundred, and you take a thousand. No, five hundred. Isn't it or five hundred? And then I'll he gets to summon deck. two more giant germs from the deck. Two more giant germs from my deck. Yep. I'll switch them in. Have to be attacked though. My deck. And I'll attack. Yeah, 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 we yeah. corrected it. Don't worry. Thank you though. So you take a hundred, and I take five hundred. Yep. So I take a hundred. Oh, sorry. And I take. And he takes five hundred. Uh, what was it? Five hundred. And you take 100? No, oh, you, yeah, no, you no, take 100. You take 100, I take 500. So that's 73 to 69. Um, your turn. Draw. Sorry, set two cards. Set this card face down, and I end my turn. Draw and Blaze of my game is like, no, no, you take 600 damage at the end. It's like, no, no, I ain't playing this. Go 68 to my 73. And the math is Yo, wrong, but it's close enough. Oh, I said so. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. I am uh, still not there. I'll enter the battle phase. Sure. Uh, which the Black Forest will. Uh, Mystic Tomato will attack first. I'll attack into the set. Sure. So you lose. Opticlops. So you lose 300, Jesse. Sure. Yep. And I'll attack the Giant Germ. Sure. Losing another 500. That means you lose. 500. So you're at 6,000 to my 73. Set a monster. Set it back. And? Your turn, Sam. Now, what's Sam this entire time? I'm an I'm idiot. Ah. I'm going to draw a piece. Sure. Now, I am going to... Ah, forget. I'm just going to call him Sa I'm Sam right at this off. point. So I'm terrible with names. Hades! Yeah, is it here Hades we go. Hades? I think it's hot Hades. I don't know. Hades? 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 Does it matter as long as I know what you're talking about? This is, uh... Probably the scariest card against my deck. It means I can't really search cards anymore and only draw into them unless he puts up non fiend monsters on the field. I don't have any way to destroy it, but I can't easily stall it with combinations of messenger piece, gravity binds, and storage of healing lights. I'm gonna those will do it. Those now to give me the time to see Exodia. Uh, we'll enter battle phase and dark ruler. Gravity bind. 
for my turn. Draw for turn. You got rid of that messenger and everything. Great. I'm going to ask you every single time. So what's this card do again? So each time I, I kill something, it um, it doesn't activate its effect. Mm -hmm. All right, so if you can ever kill something. I have to go really good. Painful choice. Yeah, I'll do a third again? One. Careful, bro. You might lose the deck out. So I want... It is. You're revealing your strategy? What if he doesn't pick the backup so Yeah, you got rid of your backup soldiers. You're going to lose Lots now. So you should at least have one in the deck uh, just to be defensible. safe. Your turn. Draw. Alright, I'm gonna be super aggressive now. Um, I'm gonna tribute. Your entire plan Let's was go. Exodia, and now you gave up Exodia. Sure. What the um, sense make? With that summon, Sam has sealed his own fate. What? You see, Dark Ruler Hada says any time a fiend monster destroys a monster by battle, its effects are negated. But by summoning a machine monster, now I can crash my own Sangans, Witches, and Tomatoes into that Jinzo to get my effects off. So while he had me a little nervous, he's just lost the game. It's over. Uh, he now, has more Exodia pieces in his deck and probably summon his hand. Sure. He's not throwing the tool with the thing that traps. He doesn't need them anymore. Which, sure. So it doesn't activate. No effects. No effect. No targets. Um, and my turn. Draw for turn. Yep. No, well, no, there's targets just that you yet. can't summon with because of head S. Good, nothing. Flip, summon, wish the rock forest. Enter the battle phase. You sure. can't attack. I don't think you should have done that. And I think you're realizing you No, I don't now. think, I don't think you can do that. This was your key to victory. And, uh, you gave me a non-fiend. Yeah, you're attacking a level four monster and while Grouty Binds on the, oh wait, I'm an time. idiot. Jinzo's up. Oh, I'm so busy looking at the points and I'm overlooking the other field. Okay. That's fine. You're good. You can kill me oh, in the yeah, comments. It's oh, fine. I deserve it. Yeah. Oh my god. So I take 1300 points of damage and which the Black Force effect will activate. And I will call forth the unstoppable. Ah, you have it. Show you how you have it. I've had four pieces since like the first turn. Are you kidding me? <laughs> right on. <laughs> like no one ever was. Bro left. <laughs> Bro was so bad he left. Oh my god! You couldn't pull it off, but Bro, I could. Oh my god, dude. Should have used those cylinders. You're right. I totally forgot. Oh, it's all fiends. The second some of the non fiend it was over. Yeah, you're oh my god. To be fair, you have to kill me soon. I'm the dumbest man in line. Including upstart, yeah, upstart, yeah. head, upstart, pot, jar, so my deck was gonna Running kill you low. Eventually. Guys, that was insane. Holy that Jesse? Destruction. Jesse comes back, you guys want some needleworms. Man! Uh, I lost to Exodia, but honestly, that was the best loss. I could ever receive a huge shout to Jesse, man. He pulled it off. I'm rooting for Jesse this episode. Oh my goodness, man. Exodia, Grandpa, Yugi. That was insane. Man, hats off to you, Jesse. You're actually just ridiculous, bro. I never thought I'd utter these words, but I think the Fiend deck was my hardest matchup. Yeah, so, and now it's out of the way. Now watch you get crushed by Milano. Thing against Milano, and he too shall be obliterated by Exodia. Maybe. I mean, there's nine minutes left in the episode, so who knows? All right, Jesse, the finals, here we are. I'm here on my way to get my second ring, let's go. Same. <laughs> Spirits versus Exodia, I don't think really? anybody expected that. that. This is the weird. weirdest one. I have no idea how to spot. I think, I think I'm favored, but I actually have no idea. I don't know. If you're you, Jesse Khan, you, I'm gonna have a duelist. I think I'm gonna win. You do have a spirit that says, rip my entire hand, and if that happens, I'm a... So, yeah, yeah. All right. I can't let that attack. All right, Jesse, rock, paper, scissors, let's do this, all right? On shoot? Sure. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ah, uh, you got it. Uh, you can start duels. All right, good luck, brother. Two. Awesome. Go. Drop the turn. Main phase one. That is fine. I am going to make things painful for you. I believe Just you. Like they are for Sam. 
What Dude, why is this called as glued to your hand? I have three and I used More or less. That's fine, that's fine. But yes. Um, so it's not that absurd, but yes, this card is very, very good if your deck can use it well. And right leg. Oh, 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 oh. This thing is very good if you know you have skill, which you don't. A left arm, and I'm looking for a right arm now, right? To me, these are all the exact same cards, so I'm gonna pick the right leg of Exodia. Sure. Why not? Awesome. Painful again. <laughs> this card is the strongest card to activate on my deck. And just like last it's time, strong card activated in a lot of decks. To be fair, the, the two of the right legs that's illegal, one I have most of. Uh, if it and was legal to others, play, and this should set up a very swift victory for me. The rest go to my graveyard. They'll be back. Oh man. <laughs> oh, hopefully not. Uh, Bell. Well, I'll activate the Upstart Goblin. Yes, giving me one thousand more life points. Let's go. I draw one card. Nine thousand. And I'll activate another one. Dude, you're gonna have my points. Life. I'll take it. I'm gonna draw one more card. I will. Set a monster face down and end my turn. Alright, I will draw. It's not gonna do anything, but you act swords are revealing light. Sure. Flip up, which the black force. Alright. I'm gonna do an activate Snatch Steel. Sure. Take your Witch. Turn to attack position. Sure. I'm normal summon Yada. Sure. Battle phase. 200 to your life points. Yada Garasu. And Yada Garasu's effect, does it activate? Yeah, it does activate. So making you not draw a card during your next turn. And then 1,100. Likes to draw. Yeah. No yeah. For you, buddy. What do you know? Two turns into the game, and I can see Milano is already getting desperate. This Yara really? Rasu lock won't work against me. It only is good like it is against Triff when they got no cards left. <laughs> and even though my hand may have some Exodia pieces in it, I still have plenty of resources to make sure that Yadagarasu doesn't connect a second time. Really? Uh, end phase, Yadagarasu will return. Your move. So I gain 1,000 life now. Yes, you do gain 1,000 life. So you're 77. Which means the Yara lock can't really phase. go online. I will set a monster face down and pass mm -hmm. my turn. All right, draw. Hmm. How am I going to do this? It is nuts to me that, like, in the anime, uh, well, <clears> Noah Kaiba out. did have Yadagarasu. So, so tricky situation I well, it never happened. When Yadagarasu could I'm have Yada locked Yugi. Fortunately, Yugi had I'm enough aesthetic guard, so that like situation never came up. But it could right have. Right yes. Let's see. The leg has 300 defense. I almost summon Susa Soldier. So what does it do? Uh, he just inflicts half damage. That's it? That's it, it's yeah. Okay. And yeah, it's 2k. Sure. Yeah, I'll swing. Sure. So effect to Witch of the Black Forest? That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> this is too easy. He's just giving me everything I needed to my hand. Let me add to my deck, from my deck to my hand. I'll add the left leg. So, yeah. 1,000, 1,100. Sure. Which will just be cancelled out by 100 of Snatch Steel, so you'll take 100 after this. And then end phase, Susa Soldier will return to my hand. Go ahead. Draw for turn. Ooh, I drew a good card. Hey Sam, what, what did you do last time you drew this card? You uh, you grabbed this guy here? No, what? Come on! <laughs> Drawing two new cards, kind of party. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. Well, I'm gonna fall off the chair. <laughs> two new cards. This is so degenerate. <laughs> I will set a monster face down. Thank you. I will activate Swords of Revealing Light. Oh, oh man, great. Now so we're good. stuck stalling forever. Oh, this is going to be annoying will, fast. How many, is this gone now? Uh, right? I think this is like the second turn of the, the things. It would probably be next so turn. So next turn? Okay. Turn. Yeah. Um, I think I want to set another card. I think I will. Set one more card. Go. I draw. I will play a uh, face down monster. And I'll play set card. Go ahead. Draw for turn. I gained 1,000 more life points. Yes, you do gain that life point. Snatch steal. Mm. It's starting to give me a little pain in the bum. Some of the monster face down. All right, that's fine. Your turn. Draw. Oh, man. The nice thing I... about my deck is it's inevitable. You got to kill me fast. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, man. Or don't kill me at all. Of, yes. Yeah. It's starting to get a little out of hand. Oh, man. I just know what those set monsters are already. 
Um, Dan Exodia pieces, I promise you. Draw for turn. And then you gain a thousand more. Oh man, this is not good. <laughs> that statue is really coming back to bite you. I will flip up the Mystic Tomato. That's fine. Flip up Sangan. again. Great. Oh no, what is gonna happen? <laughs> oh no, I know this music. Um. Sure. Sangan will declare an attack on your witch. The unstoppable <laughs> Exodia. Jesse's crashing his Sangan into witch. I know it's I'm finished. coming for you, Pegasus. <laughs> oh, that's fine. No! I take 100 damage. But it gives me my last miss. No! <laughs> Exodia! Obliterate! How does he do it? <laughs> it's like he's a YCS champion or something. Like <laughs> It's gonna be the black guy that takes down this man's streak, which is no disrespect, but you know, it's gonna lose to Summon Dark Magician, GG. How? <laughs> yeah, your deck is insane. Yeah, my deck only loses to the Floodgates. That's a combo deck. <laughs> well, that wraps it up for this episode, guys. Make sure to check out the bums playing for the biggest bum of Duel Night I ain't right now on Patreon. Right. Go check that stuff out. No disrespect to those who do go by episode. them. Just like, He's I'm not paying for the Patreon just so they can the real get that, that kind of stuff. Must room. probably be some like, copyright him. stuff. Like, uh, Live on Patreon don't do that. Or you guys can sign up if you have a break. Go to our Patreon anyways, stuff. Anyways, Sam, you're next. Me versus you? Who's gonna be the biggest loser? And who's gonna be the biggest winner? Because even though I didn't this is not win today, I'm just always the biggest winner. Idiots. Let's go. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode as much as we enjoyed playing it. And I'm looking forward to seeing you guys next time. Peace. All right, and that's it for Duel Night. I uh, can't wait to be back when I come back. I got to spin at the wheel again. Two-time champion, baby. Gotta yeah, double champ. Those rings. The first and, double uh, champ. I just want to go see the losers match between the bum Sam and bum Triff. Oh. The Patreon, where they will find out who's the ultimate bum there. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for episode number six, Legacy of uh, Darkness yeah. of Do Night. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It was lovely, but just to see this, this, this man come in and Exodia obliterate it. And Troop just kind of so screw watching, himself in the butt. Next time. This right. man just thinks Peace. he throws giant monsters at the problem until it goes away. The problem does not go away like that. Maybe Triff will get his revenge next time. Who knows? All right. The moral of the story, never underestimate Exodia. <laughs> it's annoying to play against, I understand that, but it's still something you should sneeze at, like, haha, this man is Exodia. Ha <laughs> ha, oh, why can't I feel my everything? Oi. So literally, literally the first episode of the original anime, well, not the original anime, season zero, but still. It's one of the most iconic scenes in Yu-Gi-Oh. Even normies know it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good stuff either way. <laughs> Champion comes in, cleans house, leaves again, and takes Exodia with him this time. Look out, he's t <laughs> hides your kids, hides your wives, and hides a piece of the Forbidden One. <laughs> oh, well. None of our recurring champions will be champion again, but then again, and, uh, Sam already finished his story, so whatever. Eh. Alright, don't have much else to say. It's just another solid episode, so... I guess I'll see you all in the next one. Later.